My next guest is going to be taking on Chris Gutierrez in the main event of UFC Fight Night on December 9th. It is Song Yadong joining me here on the program. Song, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Great to hear. Uh, yep. My apologies to everyone watching this. I'm a little bit under the weather sick, but really excited to talk to you, Song. Um, mm -hmm. I wanted to start first with, there were some rumors that you were supposed to fight Pyotr Jan. Was there any truth to a fight between you and Jan? Yes, uh, USC did indeed arrange for me to fight Peter in Shanghai, and uh, I accept the fight. However, they never sent me the contract, and uh, eventually I heard that Peter was injured. That the whole story. <laughs> okay, okay, that, that makes sense. That's too bad. Um, yeah. When did you find out you would be fighting Chris Gutierrez? When, like, like, uh almost three weeks ago oh one 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 month ago yeah like one month, one month. okay yeah. that's great and uh why did do you know why this card was moved from shanghai to las vegas i didn't know that just about 10 days ago i heard that uh the shanghai's fight was canceled and might be held uh, in las vegas instead okay. i have no idea why it was canceled you know yeah it's it's too bad. I'm I'm sure you're disappointed uh, because I'm sure you wanted to fight in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I fought, I, I really want to fight in Shanghai uh, so bad because yeah. I haven't fought in China for four four years. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. been it's been a while. Um, yeah. Did you know much about your opponent Chris Gutierrez when you accepted the fight? I know a little bit about him before I accept the fight because his last fight against a friend of mine, Alaton Haley, he won that fight. I've uh, I've watched the, the fight, yeah, but not Great. extensively, yeah. How do you feel like your style matches up against Chris's in this fight? His striking, his striker, uh, obviously his striker, and uh, he's smart with focus on like attack and uh, good counter striking. He likes rage stance. Yeah, but he never encountered the style that I have. I'm faster, he hard, and uh, have great grappling skill. But I also have a good kick, like kicks. It's going to be an uh, exciting fight. Yes, we're, we're really looking forward to it. Um, who have been some of your main training partners at Team Alpha Male helping you get ready for this fight? You know Sumo Darji? Yes. He's, uh, yep. He's a Chinese, also Chinese fighter. He now he training in Team of Mel right now. Um, prepare. We are same car. We are same car. December nice. We are same car. He he made he made the uh coming. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's and, great. Uh, we, uh, <clears throat> he's he's his his style like my my opponent Chris. You know he like uh moves and uh, more uh like kicks and uh, he's a main, my main partner uh those days what did you think of your teammate uh mick to uh orobai win his ufc oh, debut wow. last weekend what did you think of that oh my god orobai was fight was in, impressive you know so impressive it's uh complete completely dumb his, his opponent and uh he just uh he he, he takes a fight with five days notice Yep. Yeah, just five days, you know, unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, I believe he has a good uh, future in, in the UFC. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Um, who will be in your corner for this fight? Will Uriah Faber be cornering you? Yes, uh, Uriah Faber, Danny Castillo, Marcus, my boxing coach, and uh, uh, Slava is the UFC fighter. Yes, Slava, Slava Claus. Yes, he's going to be my corner this time. He That's has great. a good... Um, a striking and the light takes. Yeah. How do you see the fight playing out on December 9th? What's your prediction? My, my prediction just knock him out uh, in the early of rounds. Okay. I like it. I like it. Where mm -hmm. does a win over Chris put you in the division? Because uh, you're very close to a title shot. Honestly, for me, when this fight is uh, not meaningful, just uh, uh, you know, his uh, ranking is way lower than me. I think the fight just made me keep the state, you know, 
K positive right. states. You, you don't think it will move you up the rankings, is what you're saying? I hope. I hope I can move the ranking, but you know his uh his ranking is way lower than me. But I think it just uh, just 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 put on a shoe and uh, make a good uh, state. That's it, and uh, keep the positive state. Would you be interested in fighting Umar Nurmagomedov? Yeah, so we're definitely going to fight in the future. I'm really interested uh, in facing him. I'm not here to take shoe card to get a belt. I want to earn it, and by defeating everyone with my skills, he's uh he has his adv- advantage, and I have mine. You know. How do you feel like your style matches up with Umar's style? Uh, he has good wrestling and uh, good control. I have uh, my, uh, I have a good pressure with my punches, and I have a good uh, jujitsu too. Yeah. Would you still be open to fighting Piotr Jan if you beat Chris Gutierrez? Do you still want to have that fight? Yes. After the fight, I want. Uh, I still want to fight Peter. You know, he's. Uh, I I want to know whose boxing is who's boxing better you know in the uh, that bantam way you know i want to fight him absolutely and yeah. how close if you beat chris how close do you think you are to a title shot uh you know i i think i just need two more you know next next uh next fight be the uh, peter and uh, one more i will get the title shot Sean O'Malley is defending his title against Chito Vera next year. Who do you see winning that rematch? Uh, I I hope actually I hope Chito win the fight, you know, and uh, then has a rematch with me. Right. However, I think Sean has a more advantage of striking. You know, is clearly going to be a standing strike fight. You know. Your English has improved so much. Um, how did you get good at speaking English? Is it reading? Is it classes? Is it watching TV? How did you improve your English so much? Yeah, I have a teacher. We um, we practice like three times a, a week. And but before the interview, I already write down some questions. You know, because at this time I'm cutting weight. My my brain works slowly. You know. <laughs> Right. You've done a great I'll job. Do my best. I'll do my best. You, you've done a great job. I appreciate it. Do you watch any American television? Uh, <laughs> yes, some, sometimes. But uh, right now, I just, you know, most time I'm sleeping. <laughs> right. I, I don't blame you. And my, my last question, what's the best part of living in America compared to living in, uh, in China? Uh, you know, living here, I'm I'm just normal person. You know, I can you know I'm just normal dress. I I I I wear the slipper every day. You know, but in China, you know, everybody everybody knows me. You know, I'm kind of you know a star, a superstar in China. Everybody, oh, his his song. I need to uh, dress good. You know, dress good, make my hair cool. Right. My face looking good, you know, is um, more uh, pressure for leaving China. So living in Sacramento, I feel relaxed and uh, training every day. I have a good uh, routine, you know, good uh, schedule. I, every day I know what I, I can do, you know. But in China, today you live in Shanghai, tomorrow you fly to Beijing. It's very busy. Right. A little, little bit easier, which is great. Song, yeah. thank you so much for doing this. It was great to talk to you, and you did a great job with this interview. I really appreciate it. Um, if sure. there is, if if there is anyone you would like to thank, or if there's any social media you want to mention, um, I will give you the last word. You you can uh, if you, if you need anything to mention. Yeah, because the fight was um, was supposed to hold in China. I hope you guys um, watch my fight. December nights, I will knock this guy out. I will... However, this is gonna be a setting fight, yeah.